dalawang ano, uh -huh. dalawang uh, magkapatid ito. Kasi kung titignan mo talaga, very calm, very tahimik, simple, down to earth, mababait na ano, mga mga lalaki. Tapos, ito na pareho pa sa nang kinatigiligan talaga ng mga kababaihan. Okay. Kahit ako, kinilig ako ng bonggang-bongga. Kasi, ang oh, cute nila eh. <laughs> ang cute, kasi ang bait. Alam mo yun, yung napaka-respectful, magalang. Naku lahat na yata talaga, ang galing. Tapos, sports-minded pa, ayan. Siyempre, itong pinag-uusapan ko ay eh, walang iba kundi si Phil at si James, young husband. Oo, sila ay mga miyembro siyempre ng ano, ang Team Ascals. At ito po ang aking showbiz inside the card. Magkasangga sa bawat laban, magkaramay sa bawat pagsubok, ang magkapatid na half-British, half-Filipino football stars ng Team Ascals. Phil at James Young Husband, sabay hinaharap ang mabibigat na hamon sa kanilang buhay. Kapwa ipinanganak sa England ng kanilang Filipina mom sa isang British accountant. Ikinwento din na Phil at James ang love story ng kanilang mga magulang. So your mom and your dad met here in Manila? Do you know, do you know their love story? Taga siya sa Malabong, yung dad namin. Um, Nagpakasyon niya dito sa Pilipinas. Yeah. Okay. So he met he met our mom here through through a common person. Understand? Okay. I was gonna add that uh, after they met, then they oh, then they fly back to the UK and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For how long? Yeah. 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 Talong talong taon. Then I can. And then your mom went to England. Nakatira kami sa sa suburbs ng ng London. There was lots of green, lots of grass. So we didn't have to run before. We went to a Catholic school. The perfect word that describes is pretty. When we were in grade school, it became mm -hmm. it was pretty normal. Mm -hmm. like, we did everything all normal kids did. We mm -hmm. played every sport we did. Oh. Just had fun. Kailan kayo unang pumunta ng Pilipinas? Yeah, yeah. Tuwing taon. Every year. Since we're born. Yung summer vacation. Really? Yung first time ko. Uh, with the whole family, with your or just with your mom? Mom and dad. Yes. Do yes. everything. Ride jeepneys. Like. Yeah, we jeepneys. we always uh, go with our relatives in the gym. Mm -hmm. We take a go shopping and that. Mm -hmm. We'd always see our cousin hold on the back. <laughs> You're older? Yes, I'm older. You're older. Right. Yes, 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 now, I really? don't want to go back to Okay. Um, no. So in your house, there are no Filipino traditional customs? No, not really. Um, so we're just um, Filipino food. We like to eat a pancit, chicken adobo, sinigang, but um, mostly um, pancit bihon. Pancit bihon? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys fight all the time? So, you age gap? Four. When you were kids, what did you guys fight about? Cinema was magaling sa football. Oh really? Cinema was good. Gusto ni James magplay play sa computer and gusto ko maglaro sa labas. One time he stabbed me with a bat. Like he got that violent. Like the you know. Sabi mo kung bakit? Strangling you. We were really young and we were playing. I went to school the next day and our mom, our mom heard. Mm -hmm. I think one of us fell off the bed and oh you know, made, made the girl, oh the girl, girl, made the girl <laughs> grabbed anything he could find. I think he grabbed a pencil uh -huh, uh -huh. because I was about to die. So, how did he discipline her? Oh, grabbed the takeaway stuff. Ang natanamin siya ang ang disciplinarian. Ang aman nilang si Philip ang sharing nagturo sa kanilang larong football sa edad na tatlong taon. Three years old, first kid, started playing competitive. So, Wait, do you always do things together? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, say you are best of friends. Mm. Young age difference now. Oh, oh, 11, 11 months. months so, right, right, right. same years of school, plus mm -hmm. years of school. Mm -hmm. um, football year, plus. So, um, so everything we, we pretty much do together. So, pwede nilang hinarap ang laban ng kanilang ama sa sakit ng lung cancer. What's Was it sudden or you guys knew? He's been battling it for a long time. One year and a half. He lost a lot of weight, like, and then he started having a a lot of pain. It was coming to the time of our little sister's birthday as well, yeah. so it was a very difficult time. And then when he passed away, how did you get your life? We found out who our real friends are. They'd skip school just to help, <laughs> come to the house and be supportive, and it was great. It was, it was, it was how was your great. relationship with your mom? You guys became closer? Plus, yeah, and of course, when our dad passed away, we had to become the father. Our little sister had to be the men of the house, and that brought us closer to our mom. Came, like we have to do things properly together now, and so I think yeah, there's a lot of responsibility to take on. Your dad, your dad passed away, and then now your mom. So, funny.
hindi man popular ang football sa Pilipinas, hindi ito naging hadlang upang dito na sila tuloy ang manirahan noong 2009. Walang swelda sa football oh. dati. Oh, oh, Walang oh, oh. Uh, future sa football. So, we, yeah. we approach sponsors and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, there's no, there's, uh, mm -hmm. it's not popular, mm -hmm, it's, not, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not for us, mm -hmm, things mm -hmm. like that. But, uh, yeah, you know, you know. Oh. It's still build your husband, because it's be a goal. Yes, the Philippines have scored again. You guys do everything together. May you feel like there's like a competition? Like May a competition. competition. So I think we, we, we push each other right. to the limit. So mm -hmm. we're brothers and mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, Kung Walasha, and and they are successful. Kung wala ako, then and they are successful. So, who is more good at football? Um, depends. So one that you'll have to count on. You have to watch our games, and then you you can judge for yourself. It depends. It depends. Phil, can you describe James? Protective. Really. Especially so so a lot of them Phil. So very protective. Yeah. Who yeah? Who yeah? Who yeah? Yeah. He'll he'll do. Um. Um, to make sure that we're happy and no one's going to pick on us, he'll, he'll be there. Sometimes Phil acts more like the Kua. He's actually sometimes more mature than me and um, he's very ambitious and he has a lot of goals and he achieves, achieves some goals somehow. Bukod sa bagat ng samahan nila bilang magkapatid, kapwa may inspirasyon din ang dalawa. Si Phil, ang kanyang girlfriend na si Angel Loxin, at si James naman ang kanyang non-showbiz girlfriend. Pag hindi siya nakakapunta, paano siya nagsusupport sa iyo? Um, Yes, I would text. I'm going to game. Kiss, kiss. So. <laughs> kiss, kiss, the text. And good luck, good luck, good luck, kiss. Right, right, the text right. And, um, and then inspire them. So, you know, man, um, James, you came from a long relationship yeah. and then it ended and yeah. then now you have a new girlfriend. Yeah. So happy. Very happy, yeah. Super happy. Yeah, she's happy, yeah. She's a fashion designer. And I, met her. I met her after we came third in the challenge cup actually mm. but I said oh, I wasn't ready so <laughs> and then after a couple of months I was ready so I'm, I'm happy on that yeah. okay mas lalo naging matatag ang relasyon ng magkapatid nang harapin nila ang isang panibagong dago September 10, 2011 nang biglang pumanaw ang kanilang ina dahil sa isang massive heart attack you were in Bacolod yeah, so paano yung nalaman your mom yeah. 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 With, our, with our other cousin as well who's was staying with us okay. yeah. and, and then Kerry found mom yeah, tried, tried, tried waking our mom up, okay. but she wouldn't wake up. And then, okay. so Kerry called me and Phil and saying that mom won't wake up. And mm -hmm. so we had a friend up, our closest friends, mm -hmm. family friends, and to ask them to help out. As soon as we found out, we flew back to 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 Manila. So huna kayo, your dad, your dad passed away, and then now your mom. Spani so, naging adjustment in ng life nila without your mom. It was made easier because of the people, the friends and family we have in our. Mm -hmm. In our lives, the people we work with, yeah, like, so from supportive to that, mm -hmm. to Amin, mm -hmm. and um, they they got us through, they got us through mm -hmm. times. Uh, they remind us it's uh, it's not time to like um, be all miserable, and that you want to waste the time to remember her and celebrate her life. Really. They were there every football game, every training session. Our dad would would miss work just to watch all our games. Like he'd travel like an hour and a half to watch our soccer games, and then then he'd go and back, he'd to, go work. back to work. And then, but, and then our mum, our mum would always, she'd actually learn to drive so she could drive us everywhere. Yeah, my mum was scared to drive in, in England and then she, she learned was just to drive us. She was the safest to driver. drive us around. She drove really safe. <laughs> <laughs> when we met the boys, Tita Susan was there at all times. For a very long time, she would always say, wag mong pababayaan yung mga anak ko. So, naka-ingrain yun sa akin. I don't think they have really grieved you know, hindi pa sila talagang umiyak and ano, you know. And um, it's through football that they're healing. Uh, through football and through teaching kids that they're healing uh, with the death of them. Um, How about Kerry? But I mean, Kerry, I 